Merry Christmas, everyone, and welcome back to Food Review Club. You probably will know exactly where I am standing, sitting right now. It's Chicken George and Hitchin, the mecca of fast food. What you got to say about that? If you've got any doubts, spin around over there, just and have a look at all the trophies. You see all them over there, Jess? Go and give, give everyone a, a nice close-up look. No, like, no, like, East of England champion runner-up sh around here. Like, we won the regionals for the second best curry in the under-13 Bs. This is national sh proper silverware, more trophies than a trophy shop. Point uh, closed. That, if, that was a, if I was a solicitor in America, Jess, would, that be, would I have won the argument? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Right, Jess. You've seen our content. Come in nice and close, Chess, just for this one little bit. You've seen our content before, but I've turned up today for Chicken George's Christmas Banger. And it's a Ribman collaboration. So I've got two pieces of their fried gold, brie, smoked uh, bacon, cranberry chili sauce, and I've got, yes? So stuffing as well. Was it pork stuffing? Sausage meat in there as well. And the gravy. And turkey gravy. Somebody stop me, please. Now, Jess, what I'm most excited about here is this Ribman collab in a burger was my first ever 10. I absolutely love the Ribman's rib meat. Now, from the page, for a long time, you've only ever seen the, me talking about the sauces with the uh, wing fest and blah, blah, blah. To actually get some Ribman meat back in my mouth is a real honour and an absolute pleasure, especially sandwiched between two pieces of glorious fried gold. Now, Jess, let's do the pour. Are you ready? Are we lid off? Oh, yeah, that's probably a good shout. Lid off. Are you ready? You ready? I'm ready. That is, ladies and gents, what you call a Christmas chuffing special. I don't know how long this is going to be on there for. <laughs> I know what you're saying, that looks messy, but you've got so much great meat in there uh, that you can open that up and eat it as you would. Now, Jess, I think all that's left is for me to actually dive in and taste this. Do you remember our first ever 10 in Hitchin? Yeah. With, when they did that collab up the road? Yeah, That's before yeah. this was even open, I believe, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like first, the first ever 10 and a pop-up here in Hitchin. It's kind of arcing back to that, but I love my gravy, love my cranberry sauce, that bit of sweetness. Oh, right. Anyone who's followed our page, look them in the eyes a minute. I believe this is the best in the UK. For vibe, look at the graffiti, we've, we've done it before. For vibes, can't be beaten. Can't be beaten. Staff, the standard, Dan, the manager who runs the place, just everything they do is slick. From start to finish. It's the real deal, right? Here we go, Jess, you ready? I've got some little, rib, oh, I'll get rib meat. And that's why you use rib meat, not pull shoulder, because you get that rib, uh, the rib flavour. God. First thing I notice there, a stuffing meat comes through. You know this is a Christmas burger. That stuffing immediately takes you to Christmas, roast dinner, cranberry on top, and that rib meat. The bacon's got a real smoke to it. And you got that gravy. It's bringing all the moisture. It does great gravy, doesn't it? But then, Jess, you've also got the brie underneath. Oh, look at it, it's stringing down. Pinging off with the cranberry, the fried gold, the rib meat. Oh, my God.
I'm trying to describe the flavours, but at the same time, I kind of want you guys to go away and let me finish the whole thing. <laughs> Put out this chicken. That's how you cook a chicken burger. Excuse the fingers, guys, sorry. Handful of rib man meat. We've just reviewed the McDonald's Christmas attempt. I'm sorry, attempt. We have a half assed approach to Christmas. That was my face clear, I feel like I got it everywhere. It was a half ass attempt. Can it, was it not going to shock him? The beef one. And then you come here, try that. Literally insane. The chicken, it's got that crispy crunch to it. That, but that rib meat provides that, that bite and that hold. Rib meat has got a bite to it. It isn't super, like, butter tender, but that's what you like about it. Sometimes you have those ribs, that, that section of meat in the, in the middle, it's got a bite and a pull to it. It's, it's delicious. Chuck the turkey gravy on top with the cranberry and the cheese, and that stuff of meat, it feels like you're literally eating a Christmas hybrid of Chicken George and Red Man. Exactly what it says. Nailed it. Get the brief, work out how to do it, deliver the goods, bosh. I've already given this a similar burger for 10 out of 10. And of course, if I was going to give this a score again today, it'd be 10 out of 10. Here we go, timing. It'd be another 10 out of 10. He's the main man as well. Come around oh the side. Oh my God, Chris. Hey, Hang on. Sir. I haven't, I've got to get the garnish for it. Let me grab the garnish for it. What is that? Can you talk to me? It's a turkey wing bar. How are you, mate? Yeah, good to see you. Are you all right? How are you, mate? You um, yeah, it's good, thanks. That's yeah. unbelievable. That's mad, isn't it? It's mad. I feel like I haven't seen you for ages. You tried the sausage meat in there? Yeah, it's just the first thing I tasted. Yeah, it's lovely. That, that sets the tone for the entire burger. Like, you know you're eating a festive one. Not you put a bit of cranberry on it and go, Christmas burger. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I <did. laughs> Went to Mackey's, we did a Mackey's one. It's just, it's just pony. A bit of like sage, sage mayo and a bit of cranberry. Like, oh, it's a new Christmas burger. No, it ain't. That actually tastes like you're eating a kind of a chicken roast, but your spin on it. Cheers, mate. And your bun stands up to the grave, which is quality. Can we just <laughs> Let me grab the garnish one. All right. You Jess, because I know you like Matt balls. Oh. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you say Matt's Why? balls? Yeah. <laughs> they always comes in twos as well. <laughs> no, they definitely don't. So what are these? They're Matt balls, our little with a spicy mayo. They're going on it. I feel like Jess is getting Matt ball in her mouth. Couple on her chin. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I know Jess. <laughs> so you got your cranberry chili jam, you got some bacon gravy, a um, little bit of snow here to finish parmesan, so you basically do what you want, just tip it all over, get messy, dip it, whatever. A lot of people just tip it all on. It looks massive. That's what all the girls say. <laughs> <laughs> what? I was gonna say that. What does it cost? Huh? Uh, we're selling that here, I think it's eleven fifty. 11.50 for a turkey wing. Yeah, that's a turkey uh, yeah, wing. Yeah, that's, you know, you, you can put that on the table and about two or three people can nibble at that. Yeah. Like, like all our food, it's all sharing place. And what about the Queen Christmas burger? That's 12.50, because the rib man's really pricey. I'm joking, <laughs> <laughs> Right, I suppose I've got to try some of this. Are you going to be a dipper or a pourer? What do you think I should do? Pour. What do you think I should do? What would you do? Pull, pull. pull. Rip, dip, and pull, or? I'd go like this. I'm getting filthy, that food porn, innit? I'd go like that. Get that food porn on there. Get a bit of that on there. Can, can we do the, uh, can, can I do, I've got a new way for that. Oh, come on then, you do it. Have you seen that guy on this one, does this? <laughs> no. Don't, don't worry, Matt, I'll clean up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll clean up. There you go, that's the snow. Wow. You see that? This new salt bag. Look at that. It goes this. He does it with salt, to be fair. Not parmesan. It's gone absolutely everywhere. Sorry, Chris. <laughs> I just need to eat. Have you ever seen anything like that in your entire life? I don't know what to do. It reminds me a bit of those turkey 
I just got to get in there, haven't I? So pull it apart. So I pull that bit, that bit apart. Pull them there. This is so big, mate. So that's your drum, and that's your flat. Let's have the flat. Oh my god! Oh my god! Look. Winfest next year. Yeah. <laughs> you mad at the fries you need? God. So how do? You, should we get technical for a second? How do you cook this? So we marinate it first for twenty uh, for twelve hours. After, oh, go, go. Sorry, we marinate it for twelve hours. After that, we give it a really good uh, three-hour cook in the steamer, and then from there, buttermilk and fry it. And I, our Christmas coating. Is it different coating for Christmas? Yeah. Oh. That's unbelievable. It takes about three hours to cook. It's cooked properly so it falls off the bone. You wouldn't want to do this all year round, would you? No, nah, you can't just fry it, you can't fry it like in the fry, straight out, it'll just go dry. I know, uh, <laughs> I, know t I know turkeys are a big bird. That looks like an even, that looks like a big one. Yeah, no. Are they all that? Are they all that size? They're all that size. That's hot there. Do you know what? This actually gives a. I've never had anything like this before. Come on, let's get in there. Look. It really is like your Christmas fast food special. This is how it's done, Chris. Cheers, mate. How have you been anyway? Yeah, good. Just been busy. Yeah, busy. Get ready. Now, obviously, after Wingfest, that was a long season, wasn't it? Long season took us out. On the road. <laughs> yeah. It's one massive sesh. <laughs> and now I'm on the Cubs out. <laughs> I'm ready to go in 2020. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be more next year, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be more. Ooh. Not a bit of this, Jess. You get this, like, mad turkey meat that's, like, got a bit of bite to it, a bit like rib meat. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? That's nuts. That is absolutely nuts. And that, you've got this like, I don't, know, I don't know what I'm eating here. Like, I don't know how to butcher a... Um... It's the same, it's you got the bigger. most of the meat up here on the drum. Go on, get the um, drum like a... Yeah, you got it. Like, too big, Jess. Like a caveman. Eat it like a caveman. Come on here, come on here, Jess. Eat it like a caveman. Look at that like meat, it's just like never ending. Oh, wow. Imagine having that on your Christmas table instead. Oh. Like, a, like a Christmas gangster. <laughs> <laughs> First bit of turkey I've had this year. I couldn't be having it in a better place. Oh wow, look at that bit. Sorry, that's a fucking knuckle. Why is that cranberry juice? What have we done to that? Actually, cranberry chicken, yeah. So it's like onion powder, garlic powder, hot sauce, some of our hot sauce in there, cranberry, uh, I put a little bit of strawberry jam in there as well, just to make it a bit more fruity. But it's still got a little spice to it, a little kick. It's definitely got a little bit of warmth in your mouth, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that's our hot sauce up there to it. Well, thanks, mate. Cheers, bro. That is mental. Jess, you're gonna have any some Matt's balls? Is it Max balls or Max balls? Max balls. See if you say it fast enough, Matt's balls. Yeah. <laughs> Shall I try one? Yeah. What is it, like Mac, mac and cheese? Yeah. Just look at the... Delicious. Here we go. It's just the best. I know people are going to watch this, right, and go, he's biased, he's been paid to come here. Like normal. They have no idea how good the food actually is. If you think your local takeaway is good, come here and try this. Knock your socks off. A bit of cranberry. What are you going to do next? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, I've got a porn star martini wing coming out. Have you actually? Oh. Made the foam today for it. You made the foam? Yeah, yeah. Taking proper cooking to wings. <laughs> I love Port Martini as well, don't you? Yeah. I've got on my game, because I reckon Wingfest next year is going to be naughty. So I'm just, just getting ready for that in the back of my mind. Uh, have we just had an exclusive of your Wild Wing? What's that? Have we had an exclusive of your, of your Wild Wing there? 
Nah, yeah, kind of, yeah. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> Both. On that note, should we sign out? There you have a proper way to do Christmas, Chicken George style. Turkey wings, Christmas burger, collab. I honestly don't think it gets better than this, Jess. That turkey wing is covered in that sweet cranberry sauce and that rich gravy topped with the parmesan for that salty edge to take off that sweetness. Fried to perfection. 24 hour cook. 11.50. Stop the bus. See, look, this is, this is, I've been messing around with this Here we go, bonus oh, footage. Bone. This is that bone I was talking about. No way. Go on, let's have it on here. It's got champagne and vanilla. You're gonna do the whole thing where you whack your arm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that'll do, that'll do. What the f***? You taste the Prosecco in that? Like, it's like a sharp fizz. Yeah. How'd you do that? Can't tell you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Willy Wonka. Yeah, Willy, I was going to say. Willy Wonka and the wings. <laughs> Is that Prosecco foam? Yeah, with a little bit of vanilla. That's, a, that's going on top of the, the passion fruit hot sauce we're making. Oh, my God. You're a madman. <laughs> Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. <laughs> On that note, can we can we uh, get some copyright free Willy Wonka music? <laughs> yeah. Me and Chris will skip off in, if, into the sunset together. <laughs> See you later, everyone. Just skip off this way. See you later, everyone. <laughs>